<laughs> yeah, pulling the umpire's pants down, eh? But who can blame him for that? All right, well, with Dipper still very stupid, we have documentary filmmaker and art critic Philip Quist down in the rooms now talking with one very disappointed losing skipper, John Bitmead. He belongs in a home. <laughs> John uh, leading by six goals at the start of Act Four, uh, but you lost by 19 points. What's your hypothesis? Oh, well, you know, we just ran out of legs, mate. We just stopped. You know, lost our big playmakers there early on. You know, you've got your Donaldsons, your McCanns, your, your Crofts. What, so you lost all six of them, did you? <laughs> or is it nine? I'm not too sure. How many were there? Just one of each. So just one Donaldsons then, was it? What do you think you can do to improve your game in the future? Well, I reckon we just, you know, we've just got to sit down and uh, decide that we've all got to stand up and take responsibility. I see. So your plan is to sit down and then to stand up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that should improve your game immeasurably. <laughs> now, your centre-half forward is Jason Voon. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Vooney. Great player. Great player. Doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. Mm. I suggest that no one in your team could tell him either. <laughs> His place was today taken by an understudy. Why didn't Vooney play? He had a groin. <laughs> Excuse me? He had a groin. Oh, I see. I wasn't aware that having a groin and playing football were mutually exclusive. When did you have yours removed? Recently. <laughs> he had a groin injury. Oh, I see. Excuse me. My mistake. I wasn't aware that I had to complete your sentences for you. <laughs> So you're unable to finish off your opponents and you're unable to finish off your sentences. All right, I'll make a note of that in the future. Listen, smart-ass, we did our best, all right? We lost Vooney before the game. We lost our three best players in the first quarter with injuries. I came off injured in the last quarter. We didn't have anybody else on the bloody bench to bring on, all right? Why didn't you send out one of the extra Donaldsons? <laughs> no. Well, there you have it there, Roscoe. John Bittman there, unable to speak English, unable to play football, but he earns five times as much as I do. Well, there you have it.